All right, guys. I received the KAC URX 3.0 hand stop kit in the mail today. This is the basic four-piece kit. You have two contoured side pieces, a hand stop panel, some 532nd Allen tool screw, and square retaining plates. I already took the liberty of putting this on, figuring which way I wanted it. I wanted the hand stop in front. So I could have a thumb over bore, index finger in the hand stop, and middle fingers on the contour pads. Um, here's how you can see how the URX rail itself works. You have this panel, your 6 o'clock panel, that drops in, these slots, slides in, and locks on this detent spring. You can see their proprietary barrel nut there. You can also see that none of these are threaded. So the threads itself are actually on the bottom handguard panel. So once you put this together and put in the handguard slots, you're not going to be able to take it apart without removing these handguard panels. I didn't realize that at first. Don't know if I'm too fond of that design, but you'll need to carry around a 532nd Allen tool if you want to take your handguard off, which I don't see myself taking the handguard off. So I'll get these all put on, finished, and attached and show you what the finished project looks like. Here are your side handguard panels. They're contoured. I test fit them. I'm going to have the fat side towards the 6 o'clock of the rifle so it blends in to the hand stop quite nicely. And from what I had first heard that these were aluminum panels, but they actually aren't. They're just uh, a polymer so if you didn't like this chain link type golf ball G10 style stippling on there you could just sand it off and stipple it yourself I don't see the need to it's a pretty nice product but for being KAC it's pretty affordable right around $40 uh, under $50 shipped so get it all put together show you the finished project on the 9 inch Yorex Blackout Alright, there's the finished install guys for the URX 3 8.0 and there's the URX basic hand stop panel kit. It's a pretty nice fit finish all put together. Uh, lightweight, you're not putting on a bunch of metal or throwing on a heavy AFG or AFG 2 on there. Now when I say heavy, it's not heavier but it's still lighter than putting an AFG on your rifle and I do believe in lightweight setups as much as they're possible. But I'll show you how this fits in hand here. You can see, pretty easy thumb over bore, or thumb on bore, index finger in front of the hand stop, and the last three of my fingers fit right over. And side panels blended in nice. So couldn't be happier for less than $50. And the rail is finished on the blackout. I'd like to also give a shout out to a subscriber of mine who's been very supportive and helpful the last couple months on my channel and definitely has helped me with this project. We PM'd a few times back and forth about KAC products and the benefit of hand stops, etc. So go check out Burwequa DV. He's got a great channel. I'm sure you guys have all seen his M1A video. He also has some more recent videos on. AR-15 maintenance and even a satirical video for all the Glock fanboys out there. You can't miss it. So I love it. Check it out. I'll put the link for his channel on the bottom. There's the finished 300 black guys. Thanks for watching.